Are you tired of attracting narcissistic partners? Well, there are a few psychological reasons why you may be a magnet to toxic relationships. Why do we attract toxic relationships? Well, it's hard to say for sure, but we tend to create a subconscious pattern. One of the most common ways we attract narcissistic partners is by falling for the quick attraction or love bombing phase. By the time we fall into this facade, it's usually too late to easily back out. It takes loads of work to dig our way out of this place, and while we're doing so, we're being love bombed again, which makes it harder. But let's back up. Number 1. Family History If you happen to grow up in a dysfunctional family environment, you see things differently than those who did not. For instance, it may seem normal to be attracted to arrogance. It may be easy to fall for someone who tends to ghost you now and then because you're used to the silent treatment during childhood. It seems your past and attitude can attract toxic relationships because the things you experienced as a child now seem like normal emotions. In fact, you can send out vibes to narcissistic individuals that you are the type to accept their abuse. Number 2. Your Pure Honesty it's always a good idea to be honest and loyal. However, toxic people see this and are attracted to it. Why? Because they know that you're the type to give just about anybody the benefit of the doubt. And if this is so, the narcissist stands a good chance of entering a relationship with the honest person and getting away with all their lies. Yes, an honest person will find out eventually, but by then, the damage is already done. If you're an honest person, as soon as you recognize the toxic behavior, stop giving out information about yourself. The narcissist loves to gather information and use it against you. Number 3. You're a good listener. Again, this is a great trait. But for the toxic person, this trait means they can talk about themselves and humble brag all day long. Since you are a good listener, you love to just absorb what other people have to say and be supportive to them. When you attract a toxic relationship, you see someone you care about who needs your support, and so you keep listening to their problems. It takes time to realize how you've been used, and when you do see the truth, it will feel like the worst betrayal. You'll then have to put limits on how much you take in from this toxic individual to stay mentally healthy. Number 4. A Non-Confrontational Personality If you're not into confrontation, this means you're uncomfortable with conflict. You'd rather stab yourself in the toe than talk about a situation that's bothering you. The fact that you hate confrontation is noticed by the toxic individual, and they use this to their advantage. You may be attracting toxic relationships because of your peaceful disposition. The narcissist knows that you will hesitate to say no or argue with them about things, but this is exactly what you should do. When you notice that you're being taken advantage of, you should practice saying no and stating how you feel about things regardless of conflict. This may be hard, but it will help you retain your sanity and self-esteem. Number 5. Insecurity If you have a lack of confidence, it can show. Sometimes, you can cover this insecurity enough that most people won't notice, but toxic people can sniff it out. Your body language, like holding your head down, fumbling with your fingers, and speaking in a low voice, will show your low self-esteem. This is attractive to narcissistic people because this lack of confidence gives them the edge they need to use you. When you enter into an unhealthy relationship and you lack confidence, it can be a disaster. As your partner lies, deceives, and insults you, it will be hard for you to stand up for yourself. You may even begin to believe all these things and become submitted to this toxic person. If you ever get a whiff of your own strength, get out. Number 6. Too Nice Goodness and kindness are what the world needs. Unfortunately, it feeds the toxic individual too. 
and most people want to be nice. But in our hardened world, we tend to grow soul calluses to protect ourselves. Those who still try to be nice and kind are targets for narcissists. Empaths, for instance, seem to attract toxic relationships more often than others. This is because the other partner in the relationship tends to be narcissistic. You see, toxic people see empathic people as something to drain for their own strength. They know that empaths are nice, and they use this to get away with things, say hurtful things, and gaslight. I've lived it, and I've seen it too many times. The Take Home Okay, so it's not going to be easy, but there are ways to dodge toxic relationships. First of all, know who you are. Learn how to be kind and strong at the same time. Do not let your past guide your future. See the present as unrelated to the past, if possible. Give but make sure you give just as much to yourself when in need. And if you are suffering from insecurities, by all means, stay away from relationships until you've gotten better at loving yourself. That's it for this video. Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for your time, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to never miss future uploads. I see you in the next video for a happier, healthier mind.